In this video, I'm going to be showing you the three different kinds of aerials and how you can learn them, as well as some common mistakes you might be running into and how to fix those. This will include the steps I took to learn each of the three types and how I was able to change my aerial goals from looking like this to this. Hey guys, it's Dwayne Train. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, then welcome to the channel, and if not, welcome back. Today I'm going to be outlining the exact routine you can take to improve your aerial game greatly in under 6 months. Now one thing I want to say before we get started with this video is that with great power comes great responsibility. As you learn to aerial, you're going to have a lot more options in game, but you're also going to have a lot more things to worry about. It's important that you consistently practice this. The three different kinds of aerials you can learn are the basic aerial, the fast aerial, and the wall aerial. Now first, I'm gonna be showing you how you can do the basic aerial. It consists of three steps, and all you need to do is jump, tilt your car back, and boost. If you're having trouble staying up, then focus on keeping the nose of your car pointed towards the ceiling. Also, you could try not boosting until after you've tilted your car. These two things should allow you to get used to just keeping your car in the air without having to worry too much about the control of your car. The first thing you want to do to practice this is to hop into free play and drive to one of the nets and you want to simply just fly from one net to the other, trying to land either inside of the net or right in front of it. After you can consistently do this, then you can go back into one of the goals and try and fly around the map while hugging the walls. When you're in the corners, it will require a little bit of arrow, but this should help later on when you go to learn your wall aerials. Now the training packs you want to use when you're first learning how to basic aerial are just the built-in psionics training packs for aerials. As you can see with this first pack, it's not too hard. The ball is just slightly off the ground and you could even double jump into it if you wanted to. It's important that you focus on trying to fast aerial and don't cheat the pack or else it's going to be a lot harder for you to learn. Once you're able to consistently beat the first pack, not missing any shots, you can move on to the pro difficulty. Now with this one, you can see an immediate increase in difficulty as the ball is significantly higher than the goal. This is going to force you to focus on actually airling and getting your car up to be able to hit the ball downwards. If you're having trouble hitting the ball, then it's okay. You don't even have to worry about trying to score it. Just try and consistently hit the ball over and over again. After you're able to do that, you can then try and get better touches and hit the ball into the goal. After you can consistently complete this pack, you can move on to the all-star difficulty. Now this one might take you a while to get down. The balls will be moving instead of just staying stationary like it was before and it's going to force you to make some reads that you might not have ever encountered. Just take your time with this and again if you need to just focus on hitting the ball first and once you're able to do that you can try and get the goals and you really want to stick with this pack until you're consistent with it and then you can move on to the next type of aerial. If you find yourself having trouble with these three training packs what you can do is just do your aerial and try and keep your car in the air as long as you can. Make sure you're not holding boost and you're just feathering it. This will make sure you don't go too high or you don't build too much speed to where you're unable to recover. The next type of aerial we're going to be learning is called the fast aerial and it is basically just adding a double jump to your basic aerial. The steps you're going to take to complete the fast aerial is jump, tilt your car back, jump again, and you want to be boosting throughout the whole thing. Now, two problems I faced when trying to learn how to fast aerial was one, I just kept accidentally backflipping because I wasn't letting go of my joystick before I did the second jump. And this is something that you will probably run into. What I recommend to overcome this is to just take it slower. You don't have to get the movement down immediately, but you do want to get used to the timing of when to use your second jump to make sure you're not still tilting your car back. Uh, the second problem I faced when learning how to fast aerial is that I would oftentimes try and hold my second jump for a flip instead of just going for the fast aerial. And as you rank up, you're going to see that this is just not going to work out for you, that the basic aerials are just too slow and you want to just focus on getting down fast aerialing every aerial you go for. One last thing I want to note that you might struggle with is with the default controls, your jump is actually going to be on either X or A, and your default boost is going to be on circle. This requires you to make kind of a strange maneuver with your thumb in order to jump, boost, and jump again, and then go back to boost. This actually caused me to change my boost to the right bumper, and it helped me a lot. However, I would like to say that this is really just personal preference because there are a lot of pros who use both the default jump and default boost controls. So whatever feels natural to you, just stick with it and keep trying to practice. 
Now the first training pack I have for you is just a three shot training pack and it's going to require you to fast aerial while boosting through in order to even hit the ball. There's a very short timer and it might frustrate you at first but once you can get it you'll be able to do it consistently. Now I would like to say you can ignore the second shot in this pack because it is a little strange. Um, it's not really something you're going to run into in an in-game scenario. But the first and third shots you would want to get really consist at being able to reach the ball before the timer runs out. Now this second training pack is actually one I used in my progression series to learn how to aerial. It is a diamond aerial pack that has all different kinds of aerials including redirects and shots you're going to have to take from really close to the net all the way from your own side. These packs will be very challenging for you if this is the first time you're learning how to aerial, but if you just stick it through, I promise you're gonna feel a great sense of accomplishment once you're able to nail the shots in. You really cannot practice packs like this enough because when it comes to aerialing, consistency really is key. Now we're gonna move on to the third and final type of aerial, the wall aerial. This is probably the hardest of the three different types of aerials. However, it's gonna make you a lot more effective in game, especially when trying to defend or make clears off of your own backboard. As I mentioned earlier with the basic area control training, you're gonna have to use your aerial when wall aerialing. The steps to complete a wall aerial are pretty much just drive up the wall, jump off of the wall, and then you want to aerial either to the right or to the left and make sure the front of your car is pointed towards the ball. If for some reason you find this very challenging, one thing you can do to help is just drive around on the walls and free play. You want to go at all different kinds of speeds and you want to add drifting here and there just so that you can get comfortable driving around on the walls. Now I found a training pack for you that I also used in my progression series called the wall aerial pack. Now this pack is extremely challenging so you're going to want to practice from all the different angles including on the walls and the corners and this pack is perfect for you to do just that. Now you're going to notice you're going to have to make some pretty funky reads in this pack and it's going to feel extremely unnatural at first and you're just going to have to kind of feel it out. Keep practicing even if it's just 20-30 minutes a day and you're really going to see improvement in your game. If you're unable to to make contact with the ball then one thing you can do is go back into free play practice driving up the wall jumping off plus air rolling and then you're going to want to just fly your car across the map then once you land on the wall you're going to want to turn around and do the exact same thing and you basically want to just do this back and forth until you get more comfortable starting an aerial while on the wall now one thing that might be a little nitpicky that you should try is when aerialing from the corners you want to try and make your car as vertical as possible. This is because there's a mechanic that a lot of people don't know of called the curve dash. The curve dash is basically when you're going on either the corners of the walls or the corners of the map itself. If you jump at a certain time your car is going to do a wave dash like movement. Now obviously if you're trying to go for an aerial you don't want your car to stick to the ground. This could be beneficial if you're just looking for a little speed boost or anything but when you're first starting off i recommend you try to avoid this and the best way you can do that is just by keeping your car as vertical as you can now for some last minute notes before we end the video off i need you to understand that there is a time and place to go for aerials just like with every other mechanic in the game when you're first learning how it's okay if you want to just go up for every ball but as you get more and more comfortable you want to kind of pick and choose your battles this is because as you're moving up the ranked ladder, there are going to be many instances where you might go up for an aerial too late or you might miss the ball completely and oftentimes this will end in you getting scored on. You're going to have to put in a lot of hours to practice your aerials, however if you do you will see immediate improvement in your games. It's going to take a lot from you but if you can stick through it then it will open your game up more to where you can start learning the more advanced mechanics such as double taps, air dribbles, and even flip resets. Thank you for sticking around to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to like and subscribe. If you need any additional help or have any more questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Or you can join my Discord where either I or someone else should be able to help you. I'll be looking forward to seeing you in the next video when all of you are a lot better at your aerials. And until next time, Dwayne Train is rolling out.